One of the most important things before any makeup application is prepping and priming the skin. It really affects the way the makeup looks, the way that it feels, and the way that it wears. I'm gonna show you guys all of my tips and tricks on how to perfectly prep and prime your skin. I really like to take my time when it comes to skin prep because it is so crucial. It'll really, really create a beautiful canvas if you do it correctly. I always start off with some type of hydrator. Today, I'm gonna be using an oil-based primer. I'm just going to rub this into my fingertips. And we are seeing that oils are so popular and so trendy in the makeup world. And I'm just using my fingers to really press this oil into her skin. I'm hydrating the areas that I really want to be a lot more luminous and dewy, which is gonna be more in her cheeks. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is if you're someone that's oily, that you cannot use a hydrator, that you cannot use some type of oil, but you absolutely can. I like to just press it into the cheeks. So now that I've hydrated her skin, I'm gonna move on to priming. I'm actually gonna do a technique that I like to call face mapping in which where I'm gonna use two different primers on different areas of her skin. And the reason that I wanna do this is because I want two different finishes on her face. So I'm gonna start off with a more mattifying primer. I'm going to take this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna apply this with my fingers. So I like to just lightly just apply it on the T-zone really softly with my fingertips. I'm also going to apply a little bit on her chin and just anywhere else where she tends to get a little bit more oily. I also wanna make sure that I'm really getting around the crevices of her nose and that this area in general is just staying nice and put. So now that I've laid down that first primer, I'm going to go in with my second primer. I'm gonna use this dual fiber synthetic brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this hydrating primer and I'm just going to apply a little bit on the tippy tips of this brush. I like to use a synthetic brush for something like this because it's not gonna absorb and really kind of hold onto this product. It's really gonna deposit it onto her skin really nicely. And when we talk about textures, this primer in comparison to the last one is a lot more lightweight and it is a lot more hydrating and it is gonna glide onto her skin a little bit better. So I'm just really able to buff it on with this brush in a way where it just lays it down really beautifully. So essentially what we're doing here is we're creating two different finishes on her face, which will really translate once we have all of her foundation and her makeup on. Now that we have her all nicely prepped and primed, I'm gonna add a little bit of glow to her skin before we even apply her foundation. So I'm going to take another dual fiber brush. This one's a little bit more flat than the last one. And I'm just gonna pump out a little bit of this product right on the side of the brush. I'm going to lightly just kind of work off of the back of my hand because I don't wanna to apply too much of this product. I definitely wanna focus all of the glow on her cheeks and any high points of her face that I just really want to stand out. And I'm just doing this in a stippling motion, just really making sure that I'm building that glow and that I'm really buffing and blending it out. I'm also going to apply a little bit above her cupid's bow, a little bit on her chin, and slightly a little bit on the tippy tips of her nose. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray her and lock everything in with this primer spray. I'm gonna give her a couple of spritz and now she is perfectly primed and prepped for her foundation.